Okay, welcome to this video. We're going to show you the Mission 2K product. This is a urinalysis dip test strip. Comes in the pack shown in front of you here. Uh, CE marked in vitro diagnostic, which means it's for human testing. Uh, this particular test strip is a 2K, which means it's got ketone and glucose on the test strip. Now, these packs are manufactured by uh, Acon Laboratories, an American company. When you get these packs, pop the seal. Sometimes those have gone in the post if they've definitely had a rough delivery. There's nothing to worry about because there is a secondary seal inside. If we show you these packs now, you'll see the indicative uh, colour pads. Uh, handle end, that's the way the uh, orientation of the, the test strips, how they're held when you come to interpret the results. Um, the expiry date will be on the pack, the batch number and the reference, which is the, uh, the manufacturer's reference. When you open these packs, you will have a sealed protection security seal on the top. That is also an environmental seal and that is in very important that that's adherent to the actual lid of the pack and hasn't been broken previously. Because once that pouch is broken, then uh, the risk is that these strips can start uh, absorbing atmospheric moisture and they'll start deteriorating as a consequence. So when you're ready to test, remove your seal, remove a test strip, Put the lid straight back on. That's very important to keep these tests dry. Worst thing you can do is leave these in a steamy bathroom. Now if I just show you this test strip, you'll see that in its fresh dry format, colours on the two pads, top one ketone, bottom one glucose, correspond with the all negative results for both. Now before you do this test it's important to look at the read times in seconds which are just in very small print just below the the uh, abbreviations for ket and glucose. So glucose is the first to be read at 30 seconds and ketones 10 seconds later at 40 seconds. So if we take this off camera, just dip it into a sample, just dry the pad, knock any excess moisture off. Now in hospital settings what they then do is put this onto a dry absorbent pouch, or sorry pad, such as uh, a piece of uh, kitchen towel or something. The only reason they do that is to stop any excess urine uh, bleaching from one pad to another. But if you're just self-testing, it's probably perfectly adequate just to knock any excess urine off and then come and read them. And coming in at 30 seconds here, you can see that there's been no green or brown change on the glucose test, indicating an all negative clear sample. And same with the ketone, 10 seconds later, no purple to brown discoloration. Again, it's matching the all negative. So you read these tests by basically matching the change on the colour pad to the nearest corresponding colour on the side of the test pot and the uh, demonstration colour pads and read them at the indicative test time. So when you've completed your test, basically the test strip can be disposed of. Always keep the lid on very tightly. Don't use them beyond the expiry. Manufacturers recommendations with these tests as with all urine reagent test strips is to use them ideally within three months of popping that security seal, the environmental seal that we showed you, to ensure that they uh, perform to the manufacturer's certified quality standards. If you get any of these test strips out of a pack and find that the corresponding dry level doesn't match the all negative results, that is an indicator that they have turned and absorbed moisture and deteriorated. You, I'm afraid, have to dispose of them and buy a fresh batch to resume testing so you can't automatically assume that just because they're still within their expiry date the function of these tests is going to be 100%. You must keep that lid on, you must keep them dry but this is a very quick easy way to determine the presence of glucose in your urine and the presence of any ketones in excess being excreted. Very useful test this for diabetics who have either poor control or periods of bad control where they're needing to just give their cells an additional indication of whether their diabetic control is under uh, adequate supervision and whether additional treatments or medical intervention and advice should be sought. If you're getting regular ketones and glucose in your urine or even just regular glucose in the absence of ketones, then basically you, you are going to need to make some amendments to your, your care program. If you're using these just to detect ketones as part of either a Atkins diet or other exercise and diet regime then obviously you're looking for the actual presence of ketones as an indicator of your, your, your metabolic state so that's a different indicator from if they're being used for, for diabetic care. 
So that's the mission, URS 2K, glucose and ketones, urine dips tests. I hope this advice has been useful for you.